Hello everyone, Vanessa here. So welcome to another episode of Funneling Math with me, Vanessa. So in today's question, we're going to explore the similarity between addition and multiplication and how we can actually use the idea to link up assumption and your guess and check. Okay, let's take a look at this question. There is a total of 10 cows and ducks in a farm. Given that the total number of legs are 34, how many ducks are there in a farm? So let's start off with the guess and check method. So guess and check method, let's draw out this table. So, but we do is slightly different. That is, I start off with assuming that I'll start off with all as one type of animal. And in this case, I'll start off with all are cows. So 10 cows, the number of legs coming from the cows would be 10 cows, right? And then there'll be zero duck. So zero legs from the ducks. And total, as you can see, is 40 plus 0, which is 40. Okay, so on top of that, let's use the number line to better understand this, the link between these two. All right, 40 here. And then we notice that there are too many leaks at this point. And of course, that would be because there are some ducks. Then what should we do? we should start taking out the cow because there should be some ducks, right? Okay, so let's take out one cow. Okay, cow, please go away. Okay, now it's gone. So now, nine, nine cows. So I would have nine times four, 36 legs. But remember, you always need to replace it with a duck because at all times, there must be 10 animals, right? So let's welcome the duck. <laughs> right. Okay, so that is here. So that will contribute to legs, giving a total of 36 plus 2, which is 38. All right. And then what have we observed here? You can see that when we replace a cow with a duck, the total number of legs drop by 2. Then at this stage, mm, still too many legs, right? So let's continue to take out the cow and put in a duck. Bye. Okay, so now there are eight cows and 32 legs. Okay, let's welcome the duck. All right. Okay, so duck came in now. And then we have two ducks, four legs. Total number of legs from the cows and the ducks is 36. And then it observed a similar pattern right now. That is, whenever you replace one cow, and you put in one duck, you have a consistent result of two. The number of total legs would drop by two. Okay, so still too many. Let's continue to do this again. And then, ah, finally, you get your answer at 34. That is when you have met the two conditions. What are these? 10 animals and a total of 34 legs. You see that? So how can we make our life easier? So as you can see, every time you take out one cow and you put in one duck, you have a consistent result of two. That is, the total number of legs will drop by two. So if I were to know what is the gap, that means from 40 to 34, I know that I have to decrease the total number of legs by six. Do I know how to make my life easy? Yes, because I can consider them as groups, groups of two whenever I do the action. So six divided by two, I would have three. So I only need to take up three cows and replace it with three ducks. And I'm getting my answer, right? So that is how our life can be made much sim simplified <laughs> because we use the assumption method, just like we use the multiplication instead of addition for a lot of our uh, questions, a lot of problem sums. So now let's refresh, okay? Using the assumption method, we start off with assuming all are the particular type of animal. So in this case, we op we assume the opposite. That is the, uh, we assume that all our cows, they will have a total of 40 legs. You will definitely have a gap because there are some ducks. You assume that all our cows and that will give rise to the gap in the total number of legs. Once we have identified the, the gap, we have to think about the consequence. The consequence of taking out one cow and replace it with one duck 
the effect is that the total number of legs will drop by two. So instead of teaching our children to memorize uh, blindly, teach them the cause and effect of things. That is what learning is all about. Teach them to understand that what is the cause and what is the effect. If the cause is that you take up one cow and you place it with one duck, the effect, there will be a drop of two legs for the total. So now, using the number sentence, six divided by two, three. You need to do it three times. So the unit ducks in the form. Best of all, you have ample time to check. Please do a check. So three ducks, three times two, plus seven times four, that will give you 34. You see that? Super fast and efficient. Okay, so I hope you learned this and see you again in the next session. Goodbye.